This quote came from Kobe Bryant when he was on stage accepting the Icon Award at the ESPYs. He was addressing fellow athletes. We're not on this stage because of talent or ability. This is all in quotes. We're not on this stage because of talent or ability. We're up here because of 4 a.m. We're up here because of two a days or five a days. We're up here because we had a dream and let nothing stand in our way. If anything tried to bring us down, we used it to make us stronger. Sound familiar? And so we'll skip the next paragraph. It says, but at the end of the day, it doesn't come down to who has the most talent or intelligence. It comes down to who is willing to make the choices that others are not willing to make. You ever heard that before? Hey, the bracelets, what, what, what the bracelets say? Be the 1%. The whole thing behind that is do what the other 99% are not willing to do. That's why I like studying greatness. It just, shit just keeps on elevating. The great ones keep on saying the same thing. But you got to ask yourself, do you want to be a part of the one? Or do you want to be a part of the 99? There's a big divide between one and 94. Big divide on what you can do. Being that 1%, it ain't always sexy. It looks sexy when you grace the stage in the Bahamas. It looks sexy when you're looking good and your song comes on and your girl's next to you and family's there crying and cheering and hand you a check. Looks sexy. What don't look sexy is when you're dark in a two hours away, three hours away, late nights, early morning, sacrifices that are made, beginning, learning your script, repetition, failing your state exam. Those are the things that, those are the things that get you there. Who is willing to shoot baskets in the dark when everyone else is sleeping? Like, are you shooting in the dark when everyone else is sleeping? It's very simple. Who is willing to prepare more for an interview? Who is willing to memorize their script? Then it says the dream. If the dream is small, there's no point to do things that others won't if your end goal is not something that's extraordinary. There's just no reason for the 4 a.m.s, which is totally cool and fine. But if the dream is big, the game changes. So I want to ask you, is your dream big enough? Is your dream big enough that the game changes for you? The 4 a.m.s and 2 a days become intentional choices. The hard things over the easy, uncomfortable things become routine. The discipline to put off instant gratification is the standard process. What's instant gratification? I got a bunch of money, I want to buy it now. I got a bunch of money, I want to take a vacation now. I work real hard this month, I'm gonna take off right now. You just gotta delay that instant gratification. People will say you're obsessed. You're not normal. And they're right, because it's not a normal journey. A big dream is something extraordinary. Very different from what is normal or customary. And over time, as I'm beginning to realize more and more, the choice to take this journey is ultimately the reward. What's your 4 a.m.? This quote is not saying everyone should get up at 4 a.m. or do five a days, it's metaphoric. The idea is that if you have a big dream, then you have to fall in love with doing things that others won't do to accomplish what others can't. Say me, this is Kobe. Just sounds like some stuff that I've been trying to tell you.